Hi, I'm here today to tell you a little bit about Boy. If recent research by Ofcom is anything to go by, most of Britain will not know what I'm talking about. For instance, if I was to tell you to go and put Gizmo on your computer, what would you do? Eh, eh, wrong. It should have looked like this. So let's start from the start. VoIP, or Voice Over Internet Protocol, is simply a way of using your computer to make voice calls over the internet. The chances are you've already used VoIP and you didn't know about it. According to recent research, only 0.4% of UK consumers have switched over to VoIP. Considering 63% of Britons use broadband, one of the highest uptakes in Europe, this is even more surprising. So, how does it all work? In the olden days, the phone system used to carry your voice to its destination via a series of switches and cables. When you placed a call, in effect, you were opening up a very long cable between you and the call recipient, which nobody else could use for the duration of the call. This type of technology was very reliable, but it was also very expensive to use and maintain. When you make a VoIP phone call, your voice is converted from an analog signal to a digital signal, which means it can be broken down into millions of packets of data. These packets are then sent via the internet to their destination. Once there, these packets are put back into the right order and then converted into analog voice signals. There are inevitably drawbacks to the VoIP system. Power cuts. Unlike a traditional telephone, VoIP requires some form of electricity supply. So if the power goes, so does your call. VoIP is also open to attack by e-fraudsters, the same way as email. You can also experience jitter and acoustic echo. Worryingly, there are several reports from America of the fire service turning up at the wrong location because the calls were made using VoIP. However, there are many advantages to adopting VoIP. Many services will follow you wherever you are in the world. So, whether you are abroad or just across the office, you can make calls in the same way, as long as you can get access to broadband. There are also reduced operating costs, lower cost of ownership, and lots of free added value services. Undoubtedly, the biggest selling point about VoIP is its ability to lower call costs. Cost savings of between 30 and 90% are common when using VoIP, which is particularly beneficial to smaller businesses and individuals with friends or family who live in a different region or country. In a VoIP market that currently boasts over 200 providers, we tested three of the main players. These were Gizmo, Skype and Google Talk. In our tests, Google Talk came out as the favourite with novices, with Skype a close second. Gizmo came third for us as it crashed our PCs. What may prove more popular with experienced users, especially developers, as it uses open standards. These providers offer free PC-to-PC -PC calls. To make a call to a mobile or a normal landline, you get charged a small fee, usually a couple of pence. So, that's your basic introduction to VoIP. It suits some people more than others. If you make lots of long-distance phone calls or you travel a lot, or you might have people working in remote offices or from home, then it's well worth considering. And what about the future? Recent research estimates that Europe will have nearly 28 million people using VoIP by 2008. According to industry estimates, up to 75% of international calls will be carried over the internet by 2007. So, using VoIP has not been as scary as you might think. But the real scary question is, can you afford to lag behind? Bye for now.